New York City was definitely an interesting time. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, everyone. The Santa Maria, and today we're gonna to talk about the fragrances I took with me to New York City, AKA this is also a New York City story time as I recently traveled to the Big Apple and I am now back in good old Tennessee and it feels good. But before we get into that, elves, you know what we must do first. Lipstick of the day, everyone. This is from Pat McGrath and this is, what's the extravaganza? Uh, this is a color that sells out very frequently on Pat McGrath's website and I see why I've had this color for years and it's a nice fuchsia pink type of color very good for fall I have a description box below for you to check out next up we have a fragrance of the day and I'm still in a New York mood at the moment so to keep that same energy going I went with the fragrance from New York fragrance house bond number nine and this is Chinatown Chinatown I am intrigued by you more now that it's cooler weather. We'll be talking about Chinatown a lot more in upcoming days for sure. Bond number nine, Chinatown is your fragrance of the day. So now let's get into this NYC story time along with the fragrances that I did take with me to the city. So elves, you'll be so proud of me. <laughs> I only took three fragrances. And by the way, one of them, we also had a slight casualty with. <sighs> I'm still kind of like saddened by this, but yeah, we're gonna talk about that. So now let's talk about it. First and foremost, it was Head Elf and I had planned this trip like three months ago. This was before the engagement, or at least before I knew about the engagement because never forget the engagement was a surprise to me. And we said, hey, let's go to New York City. We originally were planning to go to Miami just because, but then Miami, we wasn't feeling, something was going on with it. We said, hey, let's go to New York. And let's go to New York in October. And we did. So this was a four days, three nights trip, which was cool. What was interesting about this trip is that normally whenever we go on trips, it's very planned out. Head Elf is a planner, you all, meaning he's gonna plan the type of hotel, how we getting around, reservations at restaurants. He does all of that, you all. Literally, if I just show up. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Head up is amazing. This is why I cannot wait to say I do to this man. Let me tell you, because he is a planner. He's been that way just the whole time I've known him. So he's even it's even more magnified when we're on trips. But this time around, we didn't plan anything. Only thing we had was one thing planned because something I really want to do and it's a hot thing right now and I want to see a show on Broadway. And I'm gonna talk about that show in a minute. The other thing too about this trip is that we've both been in New York City before separately in our previous lives as we like to say, but this was the first time him and I traveled to New York City together. It's kind of a sort of a post engagement trip that's what we're calling it in our heads. So, you know, it was kind of fun. Something, a good fall trip to do, you know, especially now that I'm settled in, moved in, we're past the engagement, just all of that. It was good, it felt nice to take this trip. <laughs> so another thing too, y'all, yeah, we were truly on some touristy, we're going to the Big Apple, you all. We stayed in Manhattan, specifically in Times Square, you all. Yes, where all the action is and where all the bright lights are. Literally all the bright lights you always see in all the movies and things, yeah, that's where we stay. Uh, yeah, my hoop decided to fall off just then. <laughs> Anywho, back to my story. Yes, so staying in Round Times Square in Manhattan, you're basically by the theater district as well, Broadway, all of that, which was nice because you definitely saw the artsy vibe in the midst of it. But more than anything, you definitely saw tourists from literally everywhere. I heard every language, just everything. You saw people young, old, just from everywhere. People really still do travel to New York City, just globally. It's, it is still a global city. It's really fascinating, but yeah, it's, it's a lot. It was very crowded too. We're gonna talk about that more too. So yes, we didn't have anything planned. So literally we just decided to like just find random restaurants, places to eat, nowhere planned. We just like, oh, let's try this bar. Let's go to that. Let's try this bar. And let me tell you, it's so refreshing to do that because it's so easy to get caught up in always having a calendar for everything, especially I know like head off. His calendar is always jam packed for work. And I also come from that life myself having a calendar. So when you don't have a calendar and it's just open, it's very freeing and relaxing. I encourage other people to do that as well. Elves, let me know. Do you all take trips where you just don't plan anything out or do you take trips where you plan out every single thing? Let me know in the comments below. I want to hear about it. The main thing I will say is that, yeah, by daytime when it came to fragrance elves, let me tell you, the scent I tend to wear, and this is what I reach for every day, it was my BDK Gris Charnel. BDK's Grease Charnel, which you all know I recently hauled. This was on my fall 2022 fragrance wish list. I have that video linked up top for you all to check out at a later date. But yes, BDK's Grease Charnel. When I say this scent perfectly embodied the city in just daytime of New York City in the fall, 
because it's kind of smoky it's kind of it's kind of bad it's kind of edgy that's what i like to say and new york is definitely a very gritty city it, it is it's very crowded people walking fast people will bump you just it's people just rude i'm sorry y'all i'm southern i'm a tennessee girl new york city is very rude I cannot emphasize it enough. The city is extremely rude. People just bump into you. People blow their horn at you, yell at you when they come across in the street. We don't do that down south. I'm sorry. Mm -mm. It's called hospitality and manners. We don't do that. So that was annoying. Head F and I were both like, man, they so rude here. Ooh. <laughs> we didn't like it. <laughs> but anywho, Green Chanel definitely fit the vibe and it smells amazing. And I got a few compliments while I was out and about too. So that's always nice. So that was my essentially daytime scent. Now let's get into the evening and most importantly, the main event that I cared about to do while we were here. And that was to see a Broadway musical. And specifically while this is the hot musical right now, when I saw the young man that's playing a head actor on this, on like the Today Show, I had to see this show and this is none other than MJ or Michael Jackson, the musical that is currently out. This is my playbill, so you know it's real. Ah, y'all, let me tell you. This show is everything. It shows everything, everything, everything. Like it just reminds you how amazing and how great and talented and how Michael was just truly the GOAT. I mean, for those that were there, especially those that were older than me, I was around for Michael as a child, but of course, if you were around in the 80s and 90s, you were adult then, you really got to experience Michael, like in his heyday, heyday. He would make people pass out by just staring and appearing on stage. I'm sorry, you all. Your fave of today could never. And I just need people to realize that. It's just what it is. Michael's the GOAT. And this play just helped the people to remember that. It was so good. The transitions, the music, the theatrics. Highly recommend this show. If you can get tickets to it, because you all, the show was full, it was packed, and yeah people were trying to wait and hopefully people canceled on tickets to try to get a ticket to the show um, there was no tickets to get mm -mm. it was that good so worth the hype so definitely check out mj the musical for those that might be planning to go to new york soon <sighs> Phenomenal, wonderful show. So, and particularly when it comes to the evening time and being out on the town, you all, this was my scent of the evening. I did an Instagram post on it. So my elves that's been following me, you know to check the Instagram if you want to see the real deal. I'm already showing the fragrance here a little bit. And that fragrance is so appropriate. And this is Bond Number no. Nine's New York Nights. You all, this was just the perfect fragrance to take with me to wear at nighttime while out on the town. This is literally what I wore to MJ the musical i wore all black i had a red lip on and yeah this gave me what i need the caramel and the coffee note were giving it just did what it needs to do but i'm also gonna tell you all this is the fragrance that had a little bit of a tragedy that happened on the way back <laughs> so i learned a valuable lesson do not pack your fragrances in haste when you end up packing them wrong because i end up packing my bond number nine new york nights the wrong way and yeah it kind of leaked a little bit as well as something spilled on it so my label is kind of a little messed up right here <laughs> so you all literally i opened my container that had my fragrances in it and literally i smell new york nights i said uh oh uh oh I was like, please don't be broken, like open. Luckily it wasn't, it's just my atomizer had got a little bit like bent because apparently pressure had been applied to it. So a little bit linked. Thankfully you all, it was only a few drops. It wasn't like half my bottle is out. It wasn't broken and very grateful for that. But yeah, note to self, bond bottles, you have to pack them correctly. Cause yeah, we almost had a casualty here with Bond and New York Nights. And let me tell you, I would've been so crushed because I really enjoyed this scent. Full dedicated review coming up on this one as well because it deserves it and it just it just really embodied New York at night and the name is so appropriate for this fragrance. So again, Bond number nine New York Nights was my scent of the evening. So now let's talk about randomness that also occurred in the city. You all, New York is filled, particularly Times Square. And let me say this because I know I know my real New York is gonna come on here and talk about the different boroughs and how this borough's this, this borough's that. I understand. I don't want no smoke <laughs> from my New Yorkers. I love y'all. But you all, let me tell you, New York was so random. Like, it was just really random. It was a lot of like, it was a lot of characters, a lot of scammers. 
people trying to hustle you if you weren't smart enough to realize you were being hustled. It was just fun. You all, the main hustle there was was trying to get people to convince you to pay them to take your picture. It was a lot of that going on. I'm sorry, you all. I'm from Memphis. We can smell fake and phony and some shysty in a heartbeat. I'm sorry. <laughs> you got to do better than that. Mm -mm. <laughs> Like, in fact, we've been watching the scamming and the hustling trying to have it here. And I was just like, really? Y'all got me messed up. <laughs> but anywho, it was fun just to walk around. Like, y'all, we walked so much. But most importantly is where you all, we end up doing our shopping over in Fifth Avenue, Rockefeller Plaza over there. Fifth Avenue lived up to the hype. And something I really wanted to do was to shop at the flagship, the original Saks, the Saks Fifth Avenue, as called. So that's the Saks I shopped at. If you all have watched my Instagram reels, I have posted. You have seen clips of when I was in there shopping around. And let me tell you, the original Saks is everything. Yes, the flagship, honey. Everything luxury designer you can think of, yes. And we're gonna talk about it more when I get into the fragrances in New York situation. That's gonna be a separate video, y'all. Saks on the actual Fifth Avenue gave me everything I needed and then some. Like I could have just went there on this trip and I'm been fine. Like if you are a shopper, especially a luxury shopper, please go there. But Fifth Avenue as a whole was everything. You had all of your high-end luxe stores, your Tiffany's your Louis Vuittons, your Gucci's, Prada's, all that. All of the names you think of that it was all over there. It was just nice. It was just really, really nice. I will say you all, it's so much walking in New York. And that was the day I was trying to be cute and have on boots and my feet were killing me while I was doing that. Ooh, note to self, only wear comfortable shoes in New York. Like just wear your tennis shoes. I ended up wearing my kicks the whole time. Screw the outfit, it didn't matter. I had to wear my kicks. I don't know, just heels, no, boots, no, no, just tennis shoes. That's just all you could wear, and that's that's how we were. Well, I had to come back home and see it because we walked so much. My Apple Watch was going off and telling me, "Ooh, are you exercising right now? Like, do you want us to log this workout?" No, I was just walking a lot. <laughs> I had another fragrance with me. I just didn't get around to wearing it because I ended up playing in other things, which I'll be talking about in another video. But the other fragrance I took with me to New York, but it didn't get aware, but I'm just gonna talk about it anyway. And this is from MFK and this is Oud Satin Mood. Personally, because I didn't get to really wear my heels and really dress up like I wanted to, it was more about comfort in New York. I just didn't feel led to put this on because I need to be a little bit more dressy, a little bit more cuter in my opinion when I wear Oud Satin Mood. That's just a personal thing. Of course, somebody else might just throw this on with some sweatpants and live their best life. That's you and that's fine. But I just need to have a little something extra going on when I wear Oud Satin Mood and that wasn't happening in New York. So that's why it didn't get worn. <laughs> But I still love the scent, let's be clear. Absolutely love it, perfect for fall. Definitely wear it if you have it in your collection or think about sniffing it on your next trip to your designer store or buying samples, all that lovely stuff. To end out everything, we literally finished out New York on our last day before we got on our plane. I had to have some New York cheesecake. And you all, we went to this place called Junior's that is apparently famous for cheesecake. Y'all, it was so freaking good. We had the strawberry cheesecake. It was divine. Junior's cheesecake changed my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> again, it's more that random walking in and trying to just find something to do. Cause again, we didn't plan anything, didn't really look nothing up. We were just out here. <laughs> Junior Cheesecake was phenomenal and I cannot state that enough. But all in all, it was a wonderful trip. Hedoff and I had an amazing time. We had cocktails and a whole bunch of random bars. We did some rooftops. We just, we had New York pizza. We just, yeah, we were just out here. We were just living our life. But let me tell you, we were happy to come on back home to Tennessee, come on back to Nashville because yeah, the constant noise, sirens going off and the car honking and all of that. No, here in Nashville where we live, it is quiet. It is peaceful and quiet. And yes, yes, I'm forever a Southern girl. 
just gotta say that. So all right, Elves, that wraps up this quick story time. Well, quick-ish story time about New York City as well as the fragrances I wore while in the city. Let me know what you think. Are you planning a trip to New York City soon? Have you been? Do you live there? Talk to me in the comments below. Head off and I agreed that we do want to go back and we said next time we go back we would probably want to stay in a different borough just to get a different experience with New York. So definitely drop recommendations on other boroughs to stay in besides Manhattan. Please let us know. So as always, if you're digging me, subscribe to the channel. If you're here for the content, hit that thumbs up button. And if you're not here for any of this, that is okay. I understand. So until next time, elves, I will catch y'all in the next video. Bye y'all.